Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on the approach to below knee amputation surgery. A below knee amputation is a transtibial amputation that involves removing the foot, ankle joint, distal tibia, and fibula with related soft tissue structures. Generally, a BKA is preferred over an above knee amputation, as the former has better rehabilitation and functional outcomes. First for room preparation, surgical instrumentation, basic major orthopedic set, oscillating saw, drill, amputation knife, silk free and stick ties, and suction drain, room setup and equipment, standard OR table, and fluoroscopy, patient positioning, place patient supine, place small bump under ipsilateral hip to internally rotate the leg, and place a thigh tourniquet to minimize bleeding. Next, mark the flap incision area. Mark out the tibial tubercle and the medial joint line. Mark out anterior incision, 10 cm distal to tibial tubercle. This incision is also 15 cm from knee joint line. Anterior incision is two-third of total circumference. Then mark the posterior incision, which is one-third of total circumference. Mark out the posterior flap so that it is 1.5 times the length of the anterior flap. This is extremely important because it allows for redundant posterior flap upon closure. The posterior flap should be distal to the musculotendinous junction of the gastrocnemius. Round out the distal ends of the posterior skin flap to reduce redundancy of skin upon closure. We then start with anterior soft tissue dissection. Dissect through underlying fascia, incise the entire circumference of the skin incision through the underlying fascia. Direct the vertical incision over the anterior crest of the tibia to facilitate exposure of the anterior periosteal flap. Then divide the fascia. Identify the superficial and deep perineal nerves. Place gentle traction and resect nerves using sharp dissection. Sharply dissect through the anterior compartment musculature at the most proximal end of the wound. This reduces bulk and makes the myodesis easier. Identify, isolate, and ligate the anterior tibial artery. Then dissect through the deep musculature. Bone bridge is optional. Where we can elevate the periosteum, osteotomize the fibula, and construct a bone bridge. For bone transection, mark the fibula cut. If without a bone bridge, approximately 1 cm proximal to the tibia cut at a lateral angle. If with a bone bridge, measure the interosseous distance, distance from the lateral tibia to the media fibula, and make fibula cut this distance plus 2 cm proximal to the tibia cut. Cut the tibia by using a power saw with irrigation to make the tibia cut. After that, dissect the posterior soft tissues. Place a sharp amputation knife and transect and taper the posterior musculature. Dissect through the deep posterior compartment and soleus. This is done to provide a tension-free myodesis, and this should be performed at the level of the tibial bone cut. Identify neurovascular structures, identify and dissect the tibial nerve from the vasculature. Inject the nerve with 1% lidocaine then sharpie transect under gentle traction. Identify and ligate the posterior tibial artery with ligature suture. Ligate the veins with vascular clips or ligature suture. Resect remaining posterior compartment to the level of the distal tibia cut. Otherwise, obtain hemostasis, bevel tibia, perform myodesis, and treat any intraop complications. Lastly for wound closure, irrigation and hemostasis, irrigate wounds thoroughly, and recheck for remaining peripheral bleeders. For deep closure, zero vicral for deep fascia, and subcutaneous with 2 to 0 vicral. For superficial closure, Skin closure with 2-0 nylon, we do not want to overly tighten skin as this can necrosis edges. After that, apply dressing and immediate immobilization. Ensure soft incision dressing well padded to reduce pressure in incision. Apply a knee immobilizer or U-shaped splint, and use crutches or walker for ambulation post-op. That's all for this video. Thank you.